All right, so I, uh, I was going to the grocery store the other day, and uh, I'm pulling up, and I see this really awesome parking space way up front, and I'm like, awesome, rock star parking. And I go to pull in, and I see this sign that says, reserved for expectant mothers. And I'm like, we're in the South. You're telling me that every 16-year-old gets preferential parking to me? Okay? I don't care if you are 16 and pregnant. You have better legs than I do. Where's the parking space for 30-year-olds who still live with their parents? From what I know, we're the quickest shoppers there are. Okay? We go in. Beer. Donuts. We're out. Okay? We deserve a special space. Uh, some sad news recently, uh, Steve Jobs died. I know what you're all thinking. Christmas is gonna suck now! <laughs> iPad 3D was on its way. Now I might as well buy a fucking Kindle. <laughs> we owe so much to Steve Jobs. If it wasn't for Steve Jobs, I wouldn't be able to lock myself in a bathroom stall on my lunch break and look at internet porn. I mean, I'm sorry, I mean play Angry Birds, play Angry Birds, that's what I'm doing in there. It's addictive. Sometimes I wonder if uh, Alexander Graham Bell, when he was inventing, you know, the telephone, if he was in his workshop, you know, when he was slaving over the first telephone and he was looking at it, he's like, my beautiful creation, one day, one day, people are gonna have sex with you. If you think about it, the, if you think about it, the telephone's a pretty innocent invention. I mean, it dabbled in phone sex, fine, but when the internet got a hold of it, that's what turned it into a real whore. <laughs> so I was, um, I was reading the, uh, an article in the newspaper the other day, and for some of you who don't know what that is, it's these pieces of paper that they uh, print uh, <laughs> pictures and ink and... You know, they, they, they drop it on your front doorstep in the morning with uh, six to ten hours of old news. You know, now that I hear myself talking about it, actually, it sounds pretty ridiculous. But um, I was reading this article, and this article was very interesting. It said that if you have facial hair, people are ten times less likely to trust you. And it was weird because, you know, I've been trying to talk my girlfriend into a three-way. And, um, you know, I did the right thing. I went home after work, I shaved nice and clean, and I went over there. We had dinner, it was fun. And, um, you know, afterwards I was like, you know, I was thinking, maybe we bring someone else into the relationship, you know? Try something new, experiment. She was like, you know what? I think that's a good idea. So it's working, right? It's working. And she goes, um, one condition. And I was like, shoot! And she goes, I get to pick who we bring into the relationship. And I thought about it for a second, and I was like, lose the mustache and then we'll talk. <laughs> All right, my name's T-Mike, that's my time, thank you.